Hey book besties, welcome back to another video. My name is Delaney if you're new here and today we are doing a video that I have been thinking about and felt inspired to create for months now but I've been putting it off for a very long time simply because I've been lazy to be honest. But today we are tier ranking every single book I have ever given four and five stars. So if you know me, you know I'm an avid Goodreads rater and I went through my Goodreads and I pulled literally every single book from the beginning of my time on Goodreads that I have rated four stars and above. And I've been putting off doing this video simply because I didn't want to go and download all the pictures of all the book covers. I was feeling very lazy, but I finally did it because this is a video I think is going to be so much fun. So I am ready. I have my tier list here. I'm going to share my screen with you and we're going to go through together as I tier rank every book that I've rated four and five stars. All right, get cozy. I'm going to get cozy over here. Let's do this. So the top tier, I have six stars, perfection. So like chef's kiss, the books that yes, deserve five stars and then some. Then below I have I Will Forever Love This Book. So this is like, yeah, the four and a half five star rating was pretty accurate. This book is one that I still feel really strongly about. I really love it. And if like I, people were to ask me about my favorite books, this would probably be considered. Below is a solid read, TBH. Like, yeah, probably a four star. Like, I like it. I think about it from time to time. The characters were good. I would still say that this is a good book. It's great. Beneath that is I am a different reader now. And if you have been on a reading journey for a while, you probably can relate to this where it's like the books that I was giving out four and five stars to at the beginning of my reading journey. No, not anymore. Um, and then underneath that is I read this. And also you can probably relate to that where it's like, I don't even remember reading this book. And so yikes, because yeah, I have no thoughts, no emotions, no feelings, simply because I don't remember reading the dang book. All right, let's just jump in because there are a lot of books here, as you can see, that we're going to rank. First up, we have The Locked Door by Frieda McFadden, and I honestly don't remember reading this book. I am sure it's like every other locked door thriller. Like, I'm thinking Behind Closed Doors by, I think it's B.A. Paris? Question mark? Yeah, I have no thoughts. I don't remember reading that. Then I have The Inmate, which I think I gave four stars originally, and I would say that's a solid read, TBH. It was quick, and yeah, it was good. I don't remember, like, super in-depth, but I do remember really enjoying it, and I would still say, like, I recommended this book to my brother-in-law not too long ago because I thought it was a good book. Okay, and then I have Hot House Flower, which is part of the Addicted Callaway series, and it's a Reich and Daisy book. Six stars, perfection, Reich and Daisy are my favorite couple. Literally any book that has them in it as like a big part of the book is probably going to be a five star read for me. I love that. Um, and then I have What a Time to Be Alone. This is like a artistic poetry prose book with lots of art. It's like not a story that has like a plot. It's like poetry, basically. Um, a solid read, TBH. I like that one, but it's it's so hard to rate those books that don't have like a standard plot, you know? Um, Archer's Voice. I gave this five stars. I don't think I would still give it five stars, but I would say a solid read TBH. I like this book, but that five star feeling came about a year ago. I think it was like January or February of last year that I read this book. And I really enjoyed it at the time, but I don't think I would still give it five stars. So I'm gonna say a solid read. Oh my gosh, Some Kind of Perfect is my favorite book ever. Infinity Stars, I wish I had a slot for above six stars. Absolute perfection, yes. Oh, and then I have Local Woman Missing. I honestly don't remember the plot of this book, but I remember reading it and liking it. I'm gonna say I read this question mark because yeah. The Fault in Our Stars. I was going through my Goodreads and I gave The Fault in Our Stars five stars and I, I'm a different reader now. I think that was like middle school that I read that book and I, I don't know why I was like rating that on Goodreads. Maybe I like downloaded Goodreads and was trying to give them books that I had read in the past like before I was really a reader. That's what I'm imagining is happening and I just went through like I have Harry Potter rated on my Goodreads like from I read that in elementary school and so I think I just kind of like tried to pack my Goodreads of every book I remember reading when I first downloaded it and that's definitely what that is. So 
I'm a different reader now. That book, it made me cry when I read it, but I was also in like sixth grade, so. Fuel the Fire is a Rose and Connor book in the Addicted series. I think I gave this four stars. I'm gonna say I read this question mark because I have very little memory of the plot from Rose and Connor books. Like I couldn't tell you which book in the series that was. I remember the general plot just because like the Addicted series is my whole heart but I don't think I could tell you much more about that. Then I have Ignite Me, which is part of the Shatter Me series. It's my favorite book in the Shatter Me series. I'm gonna say I will forever love this book. I gave that five stars when I read it. I would say it's probably like a four and a half, five star read for me. It's the only book in the Shatter Me series that I gave five stars. Um, yeah, I will forever love this book. Next, I have a memoir, Know My Name by Chanel Miller. This is a very sensitive memoir talks about her sexual assault case so definitely a trigger warning but also a book that really was just so beautiful I'm gonna say I will forever love this book I would still probably give that five stars to be honest yeah I just love that and I listened to the audio which was her narrating it so it was really cool to hear her share her own story yeah I love that book if you like memoirs you definitely need to read that then I have if he had been with me um Yeah, um, <laughs> I gave this five stars because it made me cry. And if a book makes me cry, I automatically get like that feeling where it's like, I have to give it five stars because clearly it touched me. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I'm a different reader now, to be totally honest. Will I still read the second book that's coming out? Absolutely. freaking lutely I'm like, I already pre-ordered it. But would I still say that's a five star? No, probably not. Isn't that the book where she's like wearing a tiara for the whole book? I remember that kind of cringed me out. I'm surprised I rated this five stars. I really am. I think it's because I cried, honestly. Okay, there's a ton of books here. I'm gonna move a little, a little faster. Never Lie by Frida McFadden is probably my favorite thriller by Frida. I'm gonna say I will forever love this book. I love Frida McFadden thrillers. They're the fastest paced thrillers. I read them all like within two days maximum. Um, and Never Lies probably my favorite by her, so yeah. Um, the Infinity Between Us is a second chance childhood friends to lovers found family, small town romance. Super duper cute. I think I read this in a reading vlog actually where I was reading romance for a week, I believe is the vlog. Um, yeah, I enjoyed that. Solid read to be honest. Nothing like earth shattering, but it was really cute. Next, I have Conversations on Love, which is not self-help, but like a... It's like an interview style book and it just talks about love. I'm gonna say I will forever love this book. I think I gave that four and a half or five stars and I would definitely still say four and a half or five stars for that one. That was a good book. Oh my gosh, Small Great Things by Jodi Pico is one of my favorite books of all time. Six stars, perfection, literary fiction. If you haven't read that book, you need to read that book. I cannot say enough good things. This is another book. I read this book The Outsiders in middle school it was a signed reading and I think I gave it like five stars on Goodreads because it was one of the only assigned reading books in my high cap literary class in middle school that I actually enjoyed um we read like The Invisible Man we read like Moby Dick we read so many weird books not weird if you like those books more power to you but books that I didn't enjoy and so when I read The Outsiders as like a classic, I was like, ooh, I love this. But I couldn't tell you one thing that happened. I'm going to say I read this question mark because like I said, that was middle school. Oh, I have All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I am a different reader now. I have no words. Okay. Also A Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. I'm going to say I'm a different reader now too. I think this was relatively new in my thriller reader journey. And so I was like, ooh, yeah, that was fun. That was fast paced. Looking back, I didn't enjoy that book, to be honest. Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. I'm gonna say I read this question mark because all I remember from the book is that she's in a coma. And that's literally all I could tell you about the book. Yeah, no. Happy Place by Emily Henry. I will forever love this book. Something about the romance and the friendships in that book unpopular opinion I learned by posting on TikTok. I got so many people mad at me for saying how much I love that book, but I will forever love that book, honestly. The like, the lines 
in the romance at the end of that book hit me. It like really was personal to me and what I was going through. So I love that book. I really do. Same with After I Do by Taylor Jenkins Reid. It's one of my favorite books by her. I will forever love this book 100%. Okay. Book lovers, a solid read, TBH. Yeah, I have mixed feelings on Emily Henry books that aren't happy place. I have a complicated relationship with Emily Henry. A solid read. Book Lovers was one I DNF'd and was going to give like one star and then I reread it and I loved it. And I would say the truth now, taking a step back after having some time to think on it, is somewhere in between. Solid read. Um, okay. A Thousand Boy Kisses. I'm going to say... Uh, this is another one that made me cry, so I think I gave it five stars. Um, I'm going to say I'm a different reader now. Or a solid read. No. Yes. No. Uh, I'm a different reader now. Yep, I'm going to stick with that. The Housemaid by Frieda McFadden. Um, a solid read, TBH. I'm also going to do The Second Housemaid while we're here. I know I put that on here. Did I? Ah, The Housemaid Secret right there. Solid read. The Wish by Nicholas Sparks. Six stars, perfection. That is one of my favorite books. I love that book so much. And Nicholas Sparks, I feel like, gets a bad rap for, like, you think Nicholas Sparks, you think The Notebook, and you think cheesy and, like, rom commy and no. I love The Wish. I think everyone should read The Wish. Such a good book. Okay. Mary Jane. I will forever love this book. This book does not get enough hype. It is a YA coming of age story, but I will never stop thinking about this book. I love it. Um, seven Year Slip. Six Stars Perfection. I have no words. Enough said. The Guest List by Lucy Foley. I read this question mark. I don't remember one thing. Is that the one where they're like on a secluded island for a wedding or something and they all start to go missing? Is that that one? Yeah, I don't know. I think it deserves to be in that category because no idea. No memories. Thrive, which is part of the Addicted series. Solid read, TBH, Lily and Low. I can't say a bad thing about them. Most of All You by Mia Sheridan. Um, I'm going to say I'm a different reader now. It was okay. I think it would definitely be like a three star read for me though. Every Summer After, I gave four stars. I'm a different reader now. Now that I've had time to think about the conflict even more, it totally butchered that book. It was on track to be a five star read. I am a childhood friends to lovers, second chance romance girl. Recipe for a five star for me, like the easiest five star you will get out of me. The conflict in this book absolutely butchered such a beautiful romance. It, yeah, no. The Dead Romantics. Solid read, TBH. I like that one. Not as much as a seven year slip, but that was good. I have Atomic Habits on here. Um, this is another one that's really hard to rate. I'm going to say a solid read. I did enjoy it in terms of like self-help books, but it's just different. It's hard. Okay. Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. Um, a solid read. TBH. Same with The Silent Patient. Untamed by Glennon Doyle. I will forever love this book. Another like kind of memoir self-help-ish. Seven Days in June. I will forever love this book. That is a romance. It also does not get enough hype. Yes. Addicted to You. I think that's the first book in the series, right? First book was not my favorite. I have to be so honest. It's my favorite series of all time, but the first book, not my favorite. So solid read. Yours truly, Six Stars Perfection. Protect Jacob at all costs. I have no words. Uh, okay. Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I liked that one. I'm going to say solid read and love in other words. I'm going to say the same thing. Regretting you by Colleen Hoover. I read this question mark. I could not tell you one single thing about regretting you. It was 2022. I like read it ends with us and I got on a Colleen Hoover kick and I was like, I'm going to read every single book Colleen Hoover has ever written. And I did it. I literally read every single Colleen Hoover book. Apparently I liked that one. I don't remember it. Another Colleen Hoover, It Ends With Us. I am a different reader now. Not a five star anymore. 
Um, ooh, and then I have the natural series. I'm gonna do this in order here, I think. I'm gonna do the naturals, which is definitely, I will forever love this book. Same with Killer Instinct. And then book three is all in, and I'm gonna say a solid read, TBH. Book one and two are my favorites. Three and four are more in like the three and a half, four star range. Good books, definitely a great series, but the, the Naturals and Killer Instinct are definitely my favorites in the series. Then I have X's and O's by Amy Leah. This is part of her influencer series. It's like a Valentine's Day, um, forced proximity, dating other people, firefighter romance. Solid read, TBH. This is also in my reading romance for a week vlog. It was cute. I liked it. The Best of Me by Nicholas Sparks. Solid read, TBH. That's a good one. Gone Girl. Same thing. Gone Girl's that's good. That's a good book. How to Walk Away. I will forever love this book. That is my favorite Catherine Center book. I absolutely adore that book. If you haven't read it, you need to. In a Holidays. <laughs> I am a different reader now. I did fully enjoy that book. Don't get me wrong. I loved In a Holidays. It's probably my favorite holiday romance, but there is no need for a holiday romance to be on my list of favorite books, in my opinion. Then I have Clarity and Connection by Young Pueblo. This is a poetry book. I will forever love this book. Young Pueblo is my favorite poet. Um, okay. Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez. A Solid Read, TBH. Hello Stranger by Catherine Center. Solid Read, TBH. Um, Colleen Hoover something. What even is this? Is that Hopeless? I'm going to say I read this question mark because I don't even know what that cover is, so... Yikes. Ward D by Frieda McFadden. I was shook when I read this. Looking back, I think I rated it a little bit highly just because I was coming off the thriller high. You know what I mean? I'm going to say a solid read, TBH. Ricochet, solid read. That's another part of the Addicted Callaway series. It's an addicted book. It's part of the Addicted series. Um, Addicted After All, however, is the final book in that series, and I love that book with my whole heart. I'm going to say I will forever love this book. Long Way Down is another Rag and Daisy book. That is for sure a six-star perfection read for me. Daisy Jones and the Six. I gave this five stars. I'm going to say it's probably more of a four and a half star looking back. I'm going to say a solid read, TBH. Reminders of Him. Don't hate me, you Colleen Hoover haters. I'm going to say this is her one book that, yes, I, I'm i going to say it's a solid read. Not a five star. I definitely gave it five stars. It's not a five star. But it did make me cry, and it is a book I remember roughly what the plot was. I'm going to say solid read. Woman in the Window. I will forever love this book. This is a thriller. I just, I love it. In a Cottage in a Wood. Another thriller that does not get enough hype by Cass Green. You should read that, honestly. Why is no one talking about that book? I love that book. Verity. I'm a different reader now. Yeah, same with Layla. Layla was like a Colleen Hoover ghost story, which was a little weird. Um, Believe Me is the final novella in the Shatter Me series, and I'm going to say a solid read, TBH. That was sweet. To Kill a Mockingbird is one of my favorite books of all time. Six stars. Perfection. Absolute perfection. Every Breath by Nicholas Sparks. I'm going to say I will forever love this book. I really liked that book. I have to be honest. Addicted for Now. Solid Read. TBH. We're so close to being done. One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I will forever love this book. Last but not least, Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I am a different reader now. For sure. Okay. Wow. That went quicker than I expected. I have definitely grown as a reader and I'm definitely learning that I am a high reader when I'm coming off the high of a book and I'm like that was the best book ever I'm gonna give it five stars less so now I'm very picky with my five stars four stars I will give out five stars is like you have to literally touch my soul to earn a five star rating so these books in the top two columns like definitely worth checking out even the top three columns I would say definitely worth checking out there are quite a few books that were I am a different reader now for sure. Yeah, this was fun. I like these tier ranking videos. I'm gonna do more of these. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below if you enjoy like the tier ranking videos. I always love watching these and I've always been intimidated because I've never used like this platform or anything before. I literally had to Google how to screen record on a Mac because I didn't even know what I was doing. 
but this was fun. I like this. Okay. Yeah. There's my little tier ranking thing. Maybe I'll try to like download this and include it um, in my description box. Ooh, download button, download image. I will include my full tier ranking in the description box below if you want to check it out a little bit more. But that is all I have for you today. That was tier ranking all of my four and five star reads ever that I've ever given four and five stars. So uh, let me know down below if you enjoy these types of videos so I can do more. And don't forget to make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos and I will catch you in the next ones. Bye book besties.